Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my NBA Western Conference predictions for the second round of the NBA playoffs. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated if you do that. Now, we have two series uh, since this is the second round. Um, I'm going to talk about both of them, give you a quick preview, and then my prediction. Um, one series. I, is going to basically be your Western Conference Finals in this series. And the other one is going to be interesting to see how it plays out because I think that's a toss-up. So let's talk about uh, the first series I'm going to talk about. The Golden State Warriors versus the Houston Rockets. Yeah, the Houston Rockets. Um, and listen, to me, this is basically your Western Conference Finals in a nutshell played in the second round. I think whoever wins this series... Um, it's going to be whoever wins the other series, um, probably in five or six. Uh, but Golden State Warriors, let's talk about them real quick. They beat the Clippers in six. I did a recap on that series late last night. So, well, not late last night, but le yesterday um, evening. And um, basically, I, I basically told the truth. The Warriors are vulnerable. And there's a team in the Western Conference that I think beat the Golden State Warriors. It's the Houston Rockets. Or unless I see something different from the Nuggets or Blazers. Which we'll talk about that series here in a minute. But the Houston Rockets, you look at them, James Harden, CP3. CP3 is kind of in a decline. But he's still good enough to go 20 and 10. Um, average 20 and 10 for a 7 game series. Because they're going to need that. Uh, they also have Eric Gordon, Clint Capella. Those are basically their um, th those are basically their best two role, uh, role players. Don't forget about Kenneth Fareed and PJ Tucker as well, and uh, Austin Rivers. So they're basically only playing seven players. Um, rest I'm for gang, somebody else, which I probably am. Uh, oh yeah, they played um, they they're playing Jannard Green as well, and um, yeah, they're playing Jannard Green as well. So. Eight players. Those are the, really the only eight that we're really playing, um, and they're playing um, House, um, Daniel House. So maybe nine players, but the Houston Rockets. Um, they're gonna give the Warriors everything they got. This series last year in the Western Conference in the Western Conference Finals went seven games, and then the the Houston Rockets had the worst shooting performance ever. So. I mean, it, without CP3, C, a lot of people think of CP3 played in that game seven. Um, the uh, Houston Rockets would have been in the finals against the Cavs and probably would have won it as well. Uh, but it didn't happen. Golden State, they lucked up and uh, they won that series in seven last year on the road and uh, on the road in game seven. The Rockets East do not have Trevor Ariza though, and that's the one piece that I that's the one player that I think they're going to miss the most in this series. Golden State, obviously, uh, the big four. I uh, know Demarcus Cousins is Andrew Bogut, Clay Thompson. Well, he is questionable for this game one. I think he's going to give it a go. Um, I haven't seen anything stating that he wasn't going to give it a go. Uh, yeah, so maybe the news will come down the pipe, but I did not see, um, I, I don't, th I don't think he's going to sit out any games in this series. Steph Curry, he, he had a little bit of an injury. They say he's fine. It's, um, I suppose he was fine. He came back in the game in game six against the LA Clippers. Kevin Durant, we know what he could do. Draymond Green, uh, listen, Draymond Green was the reason one, why the Warriors won that game six. And if that continues, that could be a problem for the Houston Rockets because Kenneth Fareed, uh, I like Kenneth Fareed, the manimal. I like him a lot, but he can't really guard on the perimeter that well. And then, um, let's see, uh, the Rockets, they do have the um, advantage at center, though. Um, but um, Clint Capella versus Andrew Bogut. Um, on the benches, I do think the Rockets have a bit of a better supporting um, cast just l watching these teams play throughout the season. Golden State, all they really had um, with their supporting cast off the bench was Sean Livingston and Andre Iguodala. And Sean Livingston did not play that well this year. The Rockets, um, they you could go Eric Gordon. Uh, you could go Daniel House, P.J. Tucker. 
I mean, the Rockets, they had a pretty good supporting cast. They had an okay supporting cast. Uh, so, basically, I think this is going to be a fun series. Um, but I am going to be picking the Golden State Warriors. And I have the Warriors winning in six. Um, yes, this I can see the Rockets winning the series. But I'm going Golden State in six because I just think the star power up front is just going to be too much for the Rockets at the end of the day. And I think that them missing Trevor Ariza. The Rockets had Trevor Ariza. I was strongly, I was strongly consider going with the Rockets, but I gotta go Golden State in this one and Golden State in six. The other series, Denver Nuggets versus the versus the Portland tra uh, Trailblazers. This is a two versus three matchup. And by the way, uh, the Rockets uh, Golden State matchup is a um, one versus four matchup. But the Nuggets, um, very young, kind of an experience, really showed in that game seven against the uh, Spurs, which, which I will be doing a video on sometime today. That series recap. Uh, the Portland Trailblazers, basically, um, we, they have Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. Uh, if they had Yusuf Nurkic, uh, that would be huge, but he's injured. But they do have Enos Cantor, who no, who's really becoming a very good replacement for him. Um, at the two, at the three and four, um, Aminu, Evan Turner, they, not, not, nothing really rowing. Kind of just a bunch of role players. Um, if you look at the Nuggets, uh, you have uh, Nikola Jokic, um, the Joker. I mean, he, he's just dominant. They also have Jamal Murray. Uh, they have, um, who else do they have? Will Barton, uh, Paul Millsap. They have um, Craig. And I'm forgetting one more, that person they have. That's Beasley. They have um, Malik Beasley. Um, I'm for, I feel like I'm forgetting one more as well that could pay up a lot of points. Not Isaiah Thomas, but... I feel like I'm forgetting one more person that uh, deserves to be um, recognized. But anyways, the Nuggets, um, they're going to score a lot. They do have the top defense, but I will say this about the Nuggets defense is inconsistent. Because whenever the Nuggets, and Coach Malone on the Nuggets, he said it perfectly. Whenever we didn't play good defense, we lost. But when, when we did, we won. Uh, the Spurs, they gave them a run for their money. The San Antonio Spurs gave the Nuggets a run for their money. And that concerns me a lot about the Nuggets. Portland, they took care of OKC in five. And to me, the Port and to me, the OKC Thunder were a better team than the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, so this is gonna be a fun, entertaining series. Uh, I think it'll go back and forth for a lot of offense in this one, but at the end at the end of the day, I'm gonna go with the Portland Trailblazers in seven. Now, this series could end in five. It could even be a sweep. But I'm going to trust the Nuggets to win three games in this one. And the reason why is the offense is just too good. The offense is just too good. If they can play defense for like two or three games, the Nuggets are going to win two or three games. That's just how it's going to be in this series. Portland, not that good of a defensive team either, but they could possibly maybe play some defense. I just think this is, this is going to be a fun offensive series, honestly. But give me the Portland Trailblazers in seven. I think Damian Lillard is balling out. And I know one of the um, commentators at ESPN, who's on like their, who's like on the e broadcasting team, he actually made a good point. Uh, even though I just ranted him about ESPN, but th this was before my rant when he said this. The Portland Trailblazers, they're kind of on a mission right now after what happened last year when they got swept by the New Orleans Pelicans. That And I think that's a good point. And they might be on a mission in this series as well. Because it looked like they were on a mission in the, in the uh, first round. So maybe they're, they're still on the mission. And I have the Portland Trailblazers continuing that mission and going to the Western Conference Finals. Now, granted, I think whoever wins this series will lose in the Western Conference Finals. But we'll see. Anyways, that's all I have. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And please subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and this is McDee the Beast signing off.